Insert the joint alignment adapters and the positioning aid into the adapter sleeve for knee and ankle joints. Pull a nylon stocking over the model and smear the area around the adapter sleeve with contact glue. Pull a PVA bag over the model and connect the vacuum. Attach the inner shell, including the positioned anchor nuts and anchor plate, to the model with double-sided adhesive tape. Clean the inner shell with isopropyl alcohol and stick a strip of adhesive tape in a circle over the joint alignment adapters on the knee and ankle. Take the orthopox carbon layer with a 90 degree fiber direction which has been cut according to the pattern and stretch it in all directions so that it can be positioned more flexibly on the model. Moisten the layer with spray glue and position it on the model. Push the fabric to the side to expose the anchor nuts. The carbon fabric in all the thigh layers must be cut back to the marker for the flexible posterior soft surface. A flexible strap is applied in this example. Repeat this process with the lower leg layer with a 90 degree fiber direction. Make sure the anchor nuts are exposed again after each successive layer. The first layer on the foot compartment should have a 45 degree fiber direction. The second complete layer for the thigh and lower leg follows with a 45 degree fiber direction. of UD carbon are applied around the ankle to reinforce the foot component. The carbon should extend down to the rollover edge. In the area of the anchor nuts, place two layers with a 90 degree fiber direction for joint stabilization. Do the same in the area around the anchor plate. Next, apply two medial and two lateral layers of UD carbon on the foot component from the ankle joint to the rollover edge. Trim the edges of the carbon so that it ends flush with the rollover edge. Cover the posterior soft surface with one layer of orthopox cloth flex. Make sure no carbon fabric protrudes into the flexible posterior soft surface area. Two 
strips of UD carbon are applied horizontally under the foot stirrup from medial to lateral. Using a knife, carefully make an incision over the thread of the joint alignment adapters. Then, apply Plastiband to the joint dummies to seal the PVC bag between the alignment adapters and the dummies. Due to the open bar connection, you can screw the dummy joints first, followed by the lamination bars. the lateral and medial ankle-knee combinations and insulate the screws with wax. Position the prepared transversal PVC profiles and feed the UD carbon under the lamination bars of the medial support. Trim any excess UD carbon or stockinette on the lateral side. Pay attention to the thickness of the material in the inner shell area in order to mount the joint unit later. Fold the UD carbon back over the lamination bars on the medial side and fix in place using a leftover piece of carbon. Trim any excess UD carbon or stockinette on the thigh lamination bars as well. Trim any excess fabric on the foot stirrups, fan out the ends and fix in place with another leftover piece. the gaps beneath the knee and ankle dummy joints with pasta sill or plastiband so that no excess resin gets trapped underneath the dummies during the lamination process. 
Seal the heads of the screws with plaster band or wax. Two layers of carbon fabric with a 90 degree fiber orientation are now applied to the thigh area and two layers to the lower leg area. Two strips of UD carbon are now applied to the foot component horizontally over the foot stirrup, from medial to lateral. This is followed by two more complete layers of carbon fabric, this time with a 45 degree fiber direction on the thigh area and two complete layers on the lower leg area. If there are no plans to include a final cosmetic layer, the last orthopox carbon layer should cover the orthopox cloth flex on the posterior soft surface. If there are plans to stiffen the forefoot, layers with a 90 degree fiber direction should be applied. Choose the number of layers depending on the desired forefoot stiffness. No layers are required if the forefoot is to remain flexible. For the final layer on the foot, the entire foot component is covered with carbon fabric with a 45 degree fiber direction. Either carbon tex or cosmetic fabric can be used for the final layer on the thigh, lower leg and foot components. Use a knife to expose the anchor nuts and carefully press down the orthopox carbon fabric again. the bevels of the anchor nuts have to be exposed, make sure you do not push against the anchor nuts. They must not come loose from the puttied surface. If this occurs, the joint unit is no longer correctly aligned. The dummy anchor nuts are screwed in place and the screws are sealed with wax. Only tighten the screws slightly to avoid loosening the putty connection. a perlon sock over the model and protect the suction tube with several layers of perlon stockinette to prevent contamination with resin. Pull a PVA bag over the model and connect the second vacuum. When preparing the amount of resin, Make sure to use the precise ratio by mixing 100 parts of orthopox resin with 26 parts of orthopox hardener. Adjust the position of the model in the vise such that air can be extracted upwards. Pour the prepared resin into the PVA bag. The orthopox resin can be processed for approximately one hour. Beginning at the foot and working your way upwards to the thigh shell, massage in the resin slowly, ensuring all fibers are thoroughly saturated. Stick strips of petalin over the lamination bars for the medial support and ankle joints to prevent excess resin from accumulating in these areas.
For a flat forefoot with minimal resin, we recommend pressing the forefoot flat. Allow 10 hours for the model to harden in vacuum at room temperature.